Rosie. of this company, Miss Hendry. You, of all people, should know that the word consignment contains a letter G, and it's no there. I do apologise, Mr. Brady. Retype it, please. Of course, Mr. Brady. Oh. Ian? Maureen? So, where's the father? In the tap room in the steelworks with his old man, I'll bet. I know. Dave's come over all responsible since she was born. You wouldn't believe it. You're right. I wouldn't. He scares more than a kid himself. No, honest. He's taking fatherhood dead seriously. I've just left him soaking nappies. Good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> listen, um, Ian and I were only saying the other night. It's about time you brought Dave round. Give him a proper welcome to the family. I mean, he and Ian are practically brothers-in-law now, and yet, well, they still hardly know each other. Yeah, I'd love to come round. Good. Good. I don't see the point in going round to Myra's. She doesn't even like me. And as for Ian, I can't make any more bloody tail of him. Dave, we agreed. We're making a new start. And that includes my mum and dad. Hiya, Mum. Hello, love. Hi, right. Hiya, Dad. You're great, aren't you? I know, Dad. It's taken ages getting the stuff together. You sure you don't mind? Oh, of course not. Any time. Oh. Hello. Uh -huh. Hey, I'll give it to me. Come on. I don't think we should leave her. Oh, come on, of course you can. Give it to me. Come on, David. We're all family now. Oh, there you are. Yeah, now, she'll be fine. You've got after Myra's. Let's go. <laughs> See you later. Bye, right, Charlo. Well, hey. Hey, come on, you. You won't bite. Hey, Gran. Hello, Maureen, love. You all right? Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Yes. Gran's just going up, aren't you? Am I? But she's well, only just gone. Yeah, and... Uh, you're tired. Come on, I'll bring you a cup and a slice of bread and butter oh, in a no. bit. No. Huh? Night, love. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Hey, don't forget that. There you go. And how are you, bugalugs? All right. Anyone fancy a drink? Do the honours, Hesse, please. You're all nibbling. All right, Ian? Hello, right, morning. How are you? Good. And how's the weather? Not bad. Good. And how's the little one? No, she's fine, thanks. Like dogs, she's do you? Mum and Dad. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I've got one. I know. First time. Well, I have a question for you. She's out all right, though. Mum was dead. Does a dog have a soul? Huh? How is Mum? You are. I said, does a dog have a soul? I mean, we can agree that a dog maybe has a personality. So why not a soul? Or maybe you think the entire notion of soul is trash, eh? That dog is no more than a complex biological machine, as are we, us here now, in this room. And that by extension, the whole notion of soul is shite. Mm. Ergo, the whole notion of God is too. Bloody hell, Neddy. You've confused him now. Uh uh. Language, Hesse, please. Language. Uh, that's where it's coming from you. Are you saying I'm a hypocrite? Eh? 
Then why? Why would I have started a swear box? Eh? <laughs> I mean, standards have to be maintained. Isn't that right, Maureen? After all, we do share this house with a respectable old lady. <laughs> Not to mention a fucking budgie who must know, under any circumstances, be encouraged to learn filth. Pardon my French, Joey. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Eh? <laughs> That's me skint. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? Not bad, Ian. So you've no, got a job yet? <laughs> well, I've not, but I'm seeing someone next week, so hopefully. I've managed to finish a little bit early. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that. <laughs> Hey, you. I thought you were coming straight up. Does a dog have a soul? <laughs> Dab bugger. I've never met anyone like him. Nah, I told you he can be all right when he wants to be. Just got to get to know him a bit, that's all. What's all that? Neddy Hesse stuff. Hesse. <laughs> Hesse. <laughs> Just nicknames. Neddy's from the Goon Show. And Myra Hesse's some famous piano player. Never heard of her. Yeah, well, Ian's into all that kind of stuff, isn't he? Classical music, jazz, books. So is Myra now. I think it's been really good for her. Opened her mind up to new things. Not like me, then. What do you mean? What have I ever done for you? Well, not much, really. Apart from marrying me and giving me the most beautiful baby in the world. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Does a dog have a soul? Give a hold of your dog. Ergo, the whole notion of God is Hesse. <laughs> 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 I'm under the flash of Hesse. Yeah, well, man, here. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think, Dave? No, get it. Dave? It's lovely. I don't know what hills are for, do I? It's waste on him, Ian. You'll be stuck in Garton with him, Mo. Still alive. Oh no, he won't. Redevelopment. Whoa. Powers of be are gonna raise Gotten to the ground, son. That's not for ages, is it? Oh no. Grand's just said she's gotta go next month. Which obviously means Neddy and I also. Where to? Hattersley. That big estate they're building out in the Peak District. There's lovely countryside all around. They can't just knock Gotten down. Dearie me. Is the boy getting emotional about his home? Yeah, well, wouldn't you? Back where you're from? You know nothing about where I'm from, son. So tell us, what's it like, Scotland? Like this, or what? Some places, aye. Others are a wee bit more urban. There's not a lock, or a bank, or a bonny brae in sight. But in those places, a man may split another man's head open for simply looking at him in their own way. So which part are you from, then, eh? Oh, I have an acquaintance with both. Why can't you just give a straight answer to a straight question? There's a wee thing called privacy. I'll thank you to respect mine. Need a piss. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm glad I'm seeing more of you again. I hardly saw you at all when you and Ian first got together. Hey, we are sisters, Mulvey, and nothing will ever get in the way of that. 
Would that be that Mrs. Reed, then? Eh? Lady whose daughter disappeared. Yeah, Pauline. Almost two years now. That's the bedroom. I often see her mum up there at night. You must have known that lassie well, eh? Yeah. So did Maureen and Myra. The police said she'd met some lad and run off with him. What? You don't even believe that, eh? She weren't that type of girl. <laughs> yeah, right. They're all that type of girl. Hey! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Get in here, you see, eh? Get in there, <laughs> Where are we, Molly? Are we on Mars? I think it's all right. Careful, Molly. No bumper. So what do you think, then? Better than staying in Gorton. Excuse the mess. We're still not finished unpacking properly yet. Oh, it's nice, Myra. It's smashing. Yeah. We're through with it. Still lots to do, mind. You know, lampshades and rugs and accessories to buy. But Well, I'll help you. Hey, that'll be great. We could go down Ashton Market. Yeah, Where's I'd you? love that. Because Angela's desperate for clothes. Yeah. I haven't even said hello to her yet. Hey! <laughs> oh. Look at you. She's getting bigger by the day, isn't she? She's a funny thing. Hello, Angela. Hey? Hello. Oh, she's gorgeous, aren't you? Shut the door. Shut the door! What's up? Who said you could come up here, you bloody moron? Eh? All right, sorry. Jesus, he only came to say hello and give you this. Moving in present. Well, apology accepted. Now, please, get out. 